Bridges, liquidity, auctions, what's happening on Polkadot have parallel awakened from their slumber of very limited updates and are Manta targeting mass adoption together with Binance. Stay tuned for today's Polkadot news. Hello and welcome to Cryptos Chain. My name is Claudio. The two well known crowd loans are still sticking around, trying their best to win auctions. And we'll see the new round of parachain auctions begin on the 31st of July. This new round is going to be interesting as seven different teams can be onboarded this time, so there will be less pain for someone to actually onboard. As it stands in terms of contributions, Peak are in the lead with over 180,000 DOT, while Invarch have gotten over 56,000 in support. Good luck to both teams, as I know it's been really painful and also a long wait, and they both got nuked by different teams in the past. But the parachain auction feature won't last forever and pay as you go parachains will take over so people can pay only for what they need and not stress out over now winning slots. But more on that in another video. Manta Network have been stepping up their game in the privacy sector big time. They're collaborating with Binance and got over 58,000 ZK bobs minted on Binance Smart Chain which is used to enable users to verify their KYC without exposing sensitive information such as wallet addresses or assets held within the wallet. So that's awesome for privacy and for getting people KYC'd, but that's not all. Over 44,000 Galaxy ZK passports have been minted. Now the Galaxy Passport SBT can be obtained after you successfully KYC through Galaxy and provides a ZK enhanced private on-chain verification of your Galaxy KYC. The team also announced that they'll be in Paris on the 19th of July for ZK Peach Day and this event is presented by Manta themselves in collaboration with Cointelegraph and Polychain Capital, a large VC firm. But one of the sponsors or speakers at this event is Worldcoin, which has caught my personal attention. I'll talk about them in a different video though. Moving on to more news from Polkadot's ecosystem, Hydra DX have stepped up their game big time with Omnipool and they recently announced Centrifuge got listed on Hydra DX with over $200 million total value locked. Now I had a quick look at the CFG USDT pair from Asset Hub, previously known as Statement, and it's quite good. You can swap just over 3.3k worth of CFG for USDT with just 2% slippage and a 0.3% trading fee. However, if you want to swap HDX for USDT for a similar amount, the slippage is much lower at just 0.7%. Now, what are the other interesting features they added in Omnipool are the over-the-counter trades known as OTC where you can swap any amount of a coin you want for whatever other coin and you can specify the amount. It's a good alternative for larger swaps so that you don't have to suffer that slippage. I'm also planning to interview someone at Hydra DX as they won an interview poll I organized on Twitter so hopefully they'll accept so that we can get more information directly from the team. Moving on to Parallel Finance, the parchain team that has been relatively quiet has tweeted recently to say they're busy testing XCM v3. If you're not aware what the new version of XCM means for the ecosystem, it allows you to use the cross-chain transfer features across different bridges and other ecosystems such as Kusama or Ethereum whenever they'll be ready for use. That will mean that we'll be able to bring liquidity from one ecosystem to another one, including those ecosystems that are non Polkadot, as long as there's a bridge available. Thanks for watching this short video, and please don't forget to hit the like. Also, drop a comment below with anything whatsoever. Follow me on Twitter or join the Telegram community. See you in the next video.